uh, at Ron Bear Dance Company, we run uh, choreographic programs to develop young choreographers. They often express that they would like to be a choreographer or they're very interested in choreography. I think that's great because that means that they'll understand the repertoire and what they're required to do uh, in a much more intense way. They do get competitive. I often think, oh, they're all so lovely and they get on really well and they're all lovey-dovey, but of course they have ambitious dancers. The idea is small stage, shorter work, mid-scale, longer work, perhaps more people, perhaps much more ambitious, uh, and then uh, one of these days I hope to uh, commission one of these choreographers to do something for the main stage. We've got Dane Hurst, uh, he's a mixed race man from South Africa, he really is the most incredible dancer. I get the impression from him, he is driven to do this. I've always been really like concentrated on dancing because it's really important to first get the dancing down, you know, to, um, to really get the most out of it so that when you're choreographing, you can really transfer what you've learned as a dancer and experienced instead of not really having a firm grasp of movement styles. Well, as a starting point, I've decided to, to use arm gestures um, to start the movement. Let's say we did three movements. We went one, two, three, four. So what that is is hand onto the shoulder, hand onto the shoulder, pull it to yourself and look to the side. So that could really go into something very big, you know? And if somebody was in front of me physically, I could actually touch his shoulders, bring him towards me, shift him out of the way, and he could do the same to me. So as a starting point, it's, there are many ways you could, you could utilize the simple one, two, three, four. We've got someone uh, from Cuba called Miguel Altunaga. Uh, he often says, I want to be a choreographer. It's, it's a need, actually. It's a need. It's, uh, I always love to dance, but create is... It's a be beautiful thing because it's, it's something that should be new or something fresh. It's, it's very, it's very important for me to choreograph. I need to choreograph every year. I feel like I need to make a, a new child, <laughs> new baby. So yeah, otherwise I can't, I can't sleep. There's someone called Kirill Berloff from um, Latvia. He actually has a degree in choreography. Yeah, I always thought of myself as a choreographer, but I just didn't have much opportunities really, so we had to, <clears throat> because I started to dance so early, I didn't really have a chance to think, you know, but I always kind of wanted to do choreography. I felt comfortable with choreography. Uh, my last uh, three pieces were in silence, so I did one of them was for Rambert, uh, and it was, was, yeah, it was 15 minutes in silence, and I thought it's a very good challenge. Gemma Nixon and Jonathan Goddard are the, the hot couple, they are glamorous, they are brilliant dancers. Uh, whatever they do is going to be quite amazing. For me, it was being, I suppose, working with Gemma and being inspired by seeing someone who can make up and generate material that's so good straight away and also has a certain sort of performance quality that I hope that I have myself and I definitely aspire to. <laughs> <laughs> it's I was just thinking a similar thing to me is meeting you and... Yeah. Um, I mean, we've known each other through friends for a long yeah, time, but mm. now coming together and working together, it was that thing of seeing John in the studio every day and, you know, being inspired what, by what he was doing, what he would bring to creative process. We've got Patricia O'Kenwa. Now, Trisha's dance in this company. I brought her into the company when I first came. She has got really quite a, a very good uh, choreographic talent. This is the fourth workshop I'm doing. Um, with Rombe and it's just an amazing opportunity to work with us dancers. I've, I've been really lucky as well because I've been um, collaborating with different musicians, um, with different composers and musicians and set designers. That experience of sitting in the theatre and having a body speak to your body and having a, um, a human being lay open all that emotion on stage that's that's the work we do. That's it's it's there. It's it's so flimsy. It's just a moment. Um, some serious things have happened. One I've had to lose because I just didn't think it could reach the required standard in nine days. That was a very tough decision. I think the choreographer was very hurt. The dancers involved. 
are also quite hurt. I've had some very heavy meetings about it. It's much easier to say, oh, okay, do it. But actually, I'm looking for something very special. I can see them all thinking, Mark is a shit. Carol, do, yeah. do you have anything to say about the choreographic workshops? Bullshit. Dependent of how many hours I get to rehearse, that's the name of the piece. <laughs> <laughs> that's very good, actually. How Seven many, hours. How many hours do you have so Seven far? Seven hours of love. Hmm? It's scary, no, though. Wait, what, what do you want me to do? And they don't give a shit. As soon as I'm trying to approach the problem, they cut in any contacts with me. So, that's the way to deal. That's the life of contemporary choreography. After these three years, we will have one or two, if we're lucky, choreographers who are, I absolutely believe in and who I'll put uh, my back and my heart and soul into.